What is up guys? Welcome back to the channel. Uh, this is a video I've wanted to make for a few. And um, I will more likely be, be disabling like ratings and stuff on this video because uh, I'm going to try to contain myself here. But um, this is a video dedicated to my dad. Now, uh, he passed away nearly a month ago. I believe June 15th. Um, from what I was told, he was induced into a diabetic coma, died over three times, had to get resuscitated. Uh, he was on life support, but he was 100% brain dead, meaning he was completely unfunctional, meaning he couldn't control himself anymore. And the only thing keeping him alive was life support, and then, uh, I believe on the 16th or the 15th, they pulled the plug. So I'm going down memory lane here for my dad. I, I miss him a lot. Uh, we had a lot of plans. This year we were supposed to go to Cedar Point for Halloween. We were just starting to make up from the negative things that happened in our past. Uh, but my dad is to thank for a lot of things. Uh, I wouldn't be creating the content that I'm creating now if it wasn't for my dad. Because uh, when in 2000... In 2013, um, I, I got abused by my stepdad physically. It was a very mentally damaging place that it put me in. And uh, my dad figured out what happened. And eventually, uh, because of all that, I started to get into contact with my dad again. The reason we fell out of contact is because my sister didn't exactly want anything to do with him, and he wanted to be fair. Uh, but... You know, but that's a story for, like, 2014. Um, this is 2012. This channel, as you can see, about uh, joined April 7th, 2012. Uh, it's somewhere around when my dad started getting me. So, in around this time, um, I started getting visitations with my dad around this time. And... Uh, it took a long time. He was out of my life from, like, 2002 or 3, because I believe he was running from the law. There was a lot going on. And uh, he had a lot of things that he was facing. And uh, me, I, I lived with my grandma until, like, 2008 or 9 or something like that. I think 10. And then eventually I moved into my mom's, and my dad finally decided uh, to bring my dad back. And I remember our first meeting. Uh, my mom took me to McDonald's, and my sister was there with me, and there my dad was. He was in a hoodie, kind of like a whitish hoodie, and I got to hug my dad for the first time from what I can remember, at least as a preteen, because I believe during the time I was about 11 years old. And uh, it, it was it was nice. It was a really nice experience, and eventually we started getting visitations, and then around Easter... Uh, he got me a tablet as a present. He gave me a big old Easter egg hunt thing where I had to follow clues around his house. There was, like, the workroom with a workbench and everything like that. I had the fine notes that had instructions on where to look next. And then <laughs> I, I had to find what was at the end of it, which was a tablet. Which, because of that tablet, I started making YouTube videos on this channel. So, as you can see here, I have a few videos on this channel. They're actually quite cringy. And I'm only going to be portraying the ones that have to do with my father. But, uh, this first video here, Flying Airplane Bomb Firework, is the most popular video from that channel. Uh, we were, it was around, I think it was the 4th of July. Let me check. June 30th. Okay, it was a little bit before that. Why did I dislike it? Maybe because it was cringy, maybe. I think uh, back when I looked at it, it was cringy, but now I don't even want to dislike it just because my dad was a part of it. But, um, as you can see here, this is my dad. No, these ain't smoke bombs. These are better than smoke bombs. It's one of those flying airplanes. <sighs> There's the cringe. You can hear my voice. You can hear how different I sound. And I had a friend named Tyler who had, like, the squeakiest, high-pitchy voice. It, it was so cringy. It's so cringy to me now, but my dad didn't sound too different for me. He, he didn't sound too different. No, it's a flying airplane bomb. 
Ooh. It's an airplane dynamite. We're gonna wonder what happens. It's gonna start flying. Man. Dang it! <laughs> the quality is so garbage. <laughs> the the quality is so trash, dude. It's so bad. <laughs> you gotta get this. You gotta get this. You gotta get this. You gotta get this. <laughs> what if, what am I on about? Is it gonna fly? I don't remember what this one does. Anyway, I, I think we've seen enough. I think uh, it's too cringy just because of me personally, but this is the first thing that my I recorded with my dad. We were setting off some fireworks, you know. Um, here, this my dad's not in this one. This was me. Um, he took me to Cedar Point. And I was a pussy back then. I wouldn't ride the majority of the rides because I was a bitch. I still am a bitch depending on certain rides. I like the rides that go over my shoulder where I can hold on like this and not up to my lap. When it comes to the rides that have like the handlebars that go to your lap, I'm still a pussy when it comes to that. I'll, I'll avoid the majority of those. But if it goes over my shoulder, no matter how big it is, I, I, I feel safe. I feel more content. But uh, he took me to Cedar Point that day and I had a necklace, you know. Uh, my dad set off the firework in this, but he doesn't really say anything. Not not too much, anyway, from what I remember. Um, he set off this. <laughs> He's not in any of these, as far as I know. He's in this one. Um, let's see. Yeah, I, I don't think he's in <laughs> any of the other ones. Luckily, if we go back to the first video here, I believe this is a second channel of mine. I do not remember... Yeah, this has nothing to do with my dad. Oh, I'm so sorry. <laughs> but, um, give me a second, and I'm going to look something up. On my Facebook, or on the Facebook account of his, uh, there was two videos before. Uh, maybe I'll get a hold of it in the future. I, I, I'm unsure. But, um, there was a video of uh, me and him doing the ALS Ice Bucket Challenge. It, it was a lot of fun. I, I would love to see that again. That was very memorable, fun to record. But uh, this is the only thing I can really see that has to do with both me and him. Alright, well go out there and do that for me. Come in. Oh, doggies. That's me with my fucking Pikachu app. Man. Right, what are you doing? Going inside? Why? That needs. Put them in there. On the fucking thing. Yeah, and do you see something in front of you? Oh my god. <sighs> Yeah, he got me a really expensive bike. Like, it had, like, huge fucking tires. Hey, look at this. Look at the tires, dude. It was, like, the size of my legs. I also started bulking around that. I look so retarded. I still look retarded, let's be honest. But it, it was... It was a fun time. This was in December around... I believe it was... Yeah, Christmas Day, 2017. This was a live video on his Facebook. Now, the sad thing is... There's one last newer memory... That I actually have recorded with my dad. And that was at the beginning of the year. If you scroll down. Uh, where is it? Right here. The Spicy Bean Boozled Challenge. Um, this video had my dad in it. Alright. We are doing Bean Boozled Jelly Beans. Yeah, I... I... I don't know if there's an afterlife, but Dad, if you're looking after me, I'm sorry. Uh, he got this Bean Boozled thing for me a long time before we actually got around to doing the challenge itself. And I would say, I'm eventually going to come over and do it, I promise. And I would keep putting it off 
over and over, and eventually he started to think I just didn't, I wasn't interested in coming over anymore. And that made me feel like shit when it came to me coming around, because I love my dad. He, when I went through hell at my mom's, he's the one that got me out of that, you know? Uh, but this is like the last video I have These with him. These are like based off of Spice, the Fury 5 Challenge. Got my stepmom and my dad in the back. They're joining me. I'm going. Oh, man. It, it makes me sad just to see him. Active. Because at one point he was. I know it's fucking obvious, but still, you know? But, um. Like, in, in the beginning of this video, I was talking about a 2014 thing. And sadly, I, I can't show much proof of this. I can find proof. I can assure you that. But let me explain. I've talked about this multiple times on the channel already. In 2014, I really started to get into YouTube because of a YouTube channel I had known as James E-Life. And there wasn't no space between the E and the life. It was just E-Life altogether, and E-Life was all lowercase letters. Now... The name itself made no fucking sense. <laughs> I, I don't even know how I came up with it, but I did. And uh, the only kind of proof I have is if you look up James E. Life, um, six years ago, my friend Wistful, who I still actively make videos with on the channel occasionally, he made a video with me as James E. Life. This was a video from James E. Life of me reacting to the old Cupcakes HD video. This was me and my friend Thomas in 2014 when I was James E. Life. Uh, my friend, who used to be known as Daring Hooves, popped up, but check out James E. Life's channel because I played Kidnapped. He got the recommendation from that. Uh, Slendy Tubbies with James E. Life. Back in the day, I'm not saying this to be mean to you, Wistful. I don't know if you're going to watch this or not, but he had a little bit of trouble spelling, and that's completely okay. Sometimes... Uh, some people just have difficulty when it comes to things like that, and it's okay. There's no no reason to judge anyone for that. But that's like the only kind of proof I have of James E-Life existing. Maybe some old links to pages I can find that say, um... Yeah, like if you say, today I decided to talk about an old YouTube channel of mine. This was uploaded a year ago, and this is the link to the dead channel. I literally put the link to James E-Life in the description there. But it's dead. It'll say this channel no longer exists or it doesn't exist at all. I, I, I don't know. I'm not going to recheck. Um, but yeah, the reason that channel existed is because of my dad. Yes, the 2012 thing with the tablet, that was to thank for my dad. But this really got me into YouTube. The 2014 story was more of a life changer than the 2012 one, which may come as a surprise. And it may even sound really fucking stupid, but it's the truth. My dad has uh, watched me record videos. He's even been in multiple of my videos on James E. Life. Now, I don't exactly remember a lot of those videos offhand. But I do know, I do remember a few. He watched me play a SCP Containment Breach mod known as My Little Foundation, which was a My Little Pony modification of SCP Containment Breach I'm sure a lot of people have heard of it, and if you haven't, go look it up. It's pretty fucking popular. Markiplier paid it, played it a lot, and there's there's actually quite a few videos of it on YouTube, and you can still download it. Am I going to link it? No, because this isn't about that. Uh, he made a video. Uh, my friend Red reminded me of this. Uh, he made a video with me playing Roblox with friends of uh, my friend Red, I think, and they said it was the funniest thing ever because my dad was absolutely hilarious. And I will be 100% honest. My dad is a really funny person. He was, anyway. But he, he, he knew how to make people laugh. Even though he was struggling through things himself. If he wanted someone to laugh, he would go all out and make that what he wants to do. He'll, if he wants to make you laugh, he's going to make you laugh. If he wants to make you feel better... He's going to make you feel better. That's just how my dad was. But, um, yeah. Um, in the future, 
I'm going to try to look for some more things about my dad, and I'm definitely going to talk about my dad more in the future, because I'll try to think of more memories. But due to the fact that I have ADHD, my brain is doing in so many places at once that I can't remember every single memory that I've had with my dad. But I am going to say rest in peace. Uh, when I found out the news, I didn't cry, I didn't break down, but I was in shock. To uh, Whenever I needed to say the truth on something, my mind would completely switch things. I would say things out of order or non-existent things that were kind of fabricating stories. And it was kind of my fault. I'm not going to lie. I, I was so in shock that anything in my head was just scrambled. More than what it normally is. That's how fucked up my mind was. But yeah, I'm sorry if this is more of a boring video. It's just I wanted to make a video dedicated to my dad. Rest in peace. I, I love him. I forever will hold him in my heart. He, he made me the person that I am today. Am I perfect? No. Is there a lot that I'm still working on? Yes. But he's a big part to thank for it. So yeah, that's all I gotta say. Thanks for watching. And I'll see you all in the next video. Peace.